pricey half bar. I've been playing half bar since I was a white belt. Uh, I used to get crap from a few instructors that why I was wasting time playing half guard when I could be playing full guard. Because, you know, 12 years ago, half guard was not what it is today, right? So there's been a lot of change in half guard over the last 12 years. And now I think it's really becoming more popular. C guards getting more because of the leg lock entry. It's kind of having like a revival. Uh, you always have the back takes from there. You have guys that specialize on it. Like uh, there was a guy who's in Brazil. He's a Canadian guy that lives in Brazil, and he with all the filmers in Brazil. It was like the same half take, uh, half take, back takes and half guard. So it's always been there. Uh, deep half guard. You have like those specialists. Like you know, no matter what you do to them, they're gonna put you back in deep half guard eventually, and then you take your back and switch it from there. And We'll go over some of my favorite sequences. Uh, we're gonna start a little bit defensive. So we're gonna start from some back half guard spots and then work our way out. And then the second half will be like a more offensive half guard side from the knee shield and what you should be looking for to attack. How's that sound? So we're gonna start from a bad spot. Cool? Uh, can you do? So, typical half guard. Let's talk about what I want and what I don't want when I'm playing half guard, right? So what I want if I'm playing half guard is I want to be off my back, on my side, if possible, have something to control distance. All right, so that's going to be my knee shield. I don't want to be flat. Okay, so this would be one of those fast spots we talk about. Okay, for a long time, what they would teach you was, oh, if you get there, you just get another the back. Yeah, if this guy goes up, that's really hard to do. Right? So instead of working for the underhook, what I, I've been working more and more is just uh, going into the bottom of my hook. So what I'm going to do first is put myself in the belt, cheat the belt up. From the belt, cheat the belt up, get an overhand grip. Right? Once I have this overhand grip, my hips going to skip a little bit. As my hip skips, this foot is going to be inserted as a butterfly hook. Okay, once I have that, very similar to our side control class, I'm gonna control this bicep here. Okay, once I have that, I can get on my side and just start elevating, elevating, elevating. Okay. So one more time. Worst spot possible. That flat, I'm half dead here. Okay, hand in the loop. Get the grip, put it on the ground, get my hips out. Even if my shoulders are flat, I should be able to move my hip, insert my butterfly hook, and control here. Okay? From here, I'm gonna start turning on my side, pulling, and just jumping. All the way to the side, I'm controlling the arm, I'm controlling the belt, and start moving around. Questions? For no grip, okay, for no grip. I'll, every time I'll have the belt, I get my hand and grab his armpit. As soon as it starts turning, I really make sure 